gentlemen, ladies, welcome back to Sandum Todd's channel. Another cat-filled episode with some of the best rambling in the biz. Uh, got a few pickups. Figured we'd do a little pickup vid going into the uh, U.S. Thanksgiving weekend. I know for some of my brothers abroad, uh, it's just another Thursday, but... Uh, here it'll be Thanksgiving, so I'm going to have the whole weekend off, and I probably won't be posting much. I think uh, a couple of these vi these vintage stocks are supposed to be running some kind of Black Friday sale Monday morning. Uh, I think I am going to try to hit one of them, but it isn't going to be the one out uh, at Blue Springs, because I went back out there. I'll get into that here in a second. And uh, so one of the pickups is kind of an exchange for that battle arena, Toshinden too. But um, anyway, um, figure I'd go to the uh, the uh, vintage stock out in Liberty, maybe by my sister, and visit the family and stuff. Don't know if I was out of frame there. Excuse me. But um, figured, you know what the hell? We'll, we'll give the one, uh, the Liberty one I've always had pretty good luck with. And the only one that I've ever really had exchange problems, or not exchange problems, but problems that I've had to exchange merchandise was the Blue Springs one. So I might just steer clear of there for a little bit. Uh, sorry, cat. I've got to use both hands. <laughs> Why don't you play with that? Here. Let me go play with that. Um, so where am I? Um... Okay, well, uh, over the weekend, I decided to go to the pawn shop like usual. I got some pickups there. We'll start with the vintage stock uh, story. Uh, I went over there to, uh, to take that game back. Uh, I don't know. I think it was Thursday night of last week. And, um, no, it was Friday night. Uh, went over there, and they were surprisingly dead. You know, there wasn't anybody in there. Um... I don't know, surprising. I never go in there on Friday, so I don't know if they're normally slow on Fridays or what. But um, went in there. I went up to the counter, just told them that the disc was missing. I wanted store credit or whatever, and they just were like, "Okay," and did it. They didn't ask who the manager I talked to was or or anything. So it's like I said. I mean, if you decided, "Hey, I'm gonna just you know screw them and keep the merchandise and take back an empty case and say the disc wasn't in there," you know, they wouldn't know any better. So I think that's it's just I don't know. Anyway, but um, I got out there, uh, did the exchange, kind of walked around a little bit. Like I said, they were slow. I uh, didn't do any filming because, of course, they had radio blasting in there. I'm still kind of uh, feeling out my uh, my videos as far as this um, supposed copyright crackdowns going. Uh, I had one video content ID match since they supposedly did it. Um, and before that, I had had about eight or so, and I had gotten rid of all but two of them, because one of them was part of my Xbox collection videos, which there were three of them uh, for my Xbox collection, which I probably just need to do a new Xbox collection video, and uh, chuck the old, you know, not chuck them, I mean, I, I have them for posterity on an external hard drive here, but, you know, chuck them as far as keeping that and putting an updated version on there, but... um uh, so, one of them was that, and the other one's that Wolverine Origins video, uh, gameplay, which has gotten a shitload of views, and it's not even that great of a gameplay. I mean, it's not like I filmed it with any great, I actually think I filmed it on my old, uh, CRT television, uh, without even an HD connection, and, uh, it's gotten like 40-something thousand views since I posted it, and it's been up for a long time. I mean, it's been up damn near a year or more, but I mean, for uh, my videos, that's one of like the top three or five that's ever gotten views like that, and um, so I have one content ID match that came up this week, and that was on my video where I got the uh, the Nintendo and. Uh, Rob the Robot Deluxe set in the box uh, at Content ID match some song that was playing in the background while I was talking. Uh, so I just acknowledge the content and if they want to put a, a 
you know, monetize the, the video and put an ad on there or whatever, that's up to them. You know, they didn't want, they didn't make me pull it down. So, you know, if, if they want to put an ad on it and, and whatever, go ahead. I, as long as I can leave my video up, I really don't give a shit. So, um, that's off track. Remember I said you do get some of the rest, rest bambling in the biz. Um, <laughs> let me get a drink here. So, um, did the exchange, went over, looked at a few of their um, other systems, went over and looked at the PlayStation games, because that's what I primarily have been trying to collect as of late, uh, and not for playing purposes, I've been collecting this gen, you know, PS3 games mainly, but uh, as far as retro collecting, I've been collecting the long boxes, so I wanted to get something as an exchange, and this one happened to be the exact same price so I went ahead and got it and basically it was a wash except for the gas I had to use to get out there um, and uh, I did like I said I did look around but I didn't really find anything else go on no I don't want to fight right now go on ow no come here go on I don't want to fight is this what you're wanting me to hold you like this um so anyway, like I said, it was a wash. It's like, yeah, get you little herb. Trying to film a video. She wants to play. Um, I haven't been home that long. So anyway, um, I picked this up. I've got this for three different systems now. And it's strange because this one, well, I'll go ahead and show it. Um, I picked up the PlayStation Longbox version of Nova Storm. Uh, this does have some full motion cinematics in it. I don't think they're part of the actual game. It's got kind of the rendered backgrounds where your planes kind of or your your uh, ships kind of on a path, and the and the you know the uh, um, terrain moves in front of your ship, but you're pretty much always centered in the area they want you to be. But it's kind of a shoot 'em. It's kind of a it's hard. It's not really a shoot 'em up. It's a shooter with where you're flying a uh, some piloting some kind of a spaceship or something. But anyway, uh, and that's kind of what I got going on in the back. If you notice, uh, that would be my uh, one I have for the 3DO, and that is Nova Storm as well. Um, what I find strange about this is I have it for the Sega CD. I have it for the 3DO, and now I have it for the PlayStation. Um, but for some reason, and I'm not going to dig for the Sega CD one because it's at the bottom of that stack. It's like three from the bottom, and I'm just not going to dig for it. But I, from what I recall, um, it didn't have the, this issue, or, or not issue, but... Um, Situ la la. I'm stumbling over my words tonight. Um, didn't have this issue. Um, the PlayStation 1 version is a two disc game. And uh, the, se the uh, 3DO one is a one disc game. And the, uh, some makes me, I'm almost 99% sure that the Sega CD one's a one disc game. So I was wondering why. They had to put it on two discs on uh, the PlayStation because, I mean, if anything, the PlayStation is a more powerful machine than the Sega CD for sure, you know. And I'm just wondering why they would have had to put it on two discs unless the the render is better or something. I don't know. Ouch! Stop your biting! Golly, cat! Um. So anyway, it was a wash. It was $9.99 plus tag. So basically, they spent all that time giving me a gift card, and then I walked over, grabbed this game, and within two minutes, walked back over and handed them back the gift card. So uh, anyway, I picked this up. I'm happy. It looks nice. The discs look really nice and stuff. Um, I think, I don't know, you know, because these are the black back discs. I don't know if they don't hold as much info or, or what the deal is, so... For some reason, though, it's on two discs on this, so uh, that was my foray out to the vintage stock. Um, and then the rest of this I picked up at the uh, pawn shop over the weekend. Um, 
which is actually a pretty good score considering I only went to one. Um, but I decided that um, as I was uh, going out that I was going to keep my eye out for a certain game. And if it was, get down! She's climbing up the curtain now. Er, hey, don't make me get the bottle. I'm going to have to squirt your ass. Um, <laughs> I decided I was going to keep my eye out for this game, and if it was cheaper than buying it new, I was going to get it. And um, So I went out, I go over there, I'm looking through their games, they have one copy of it, and uh, it's marked thirty nine ninety nine. and you may know what it is, because it's one of the only games I said I was going to pay, you know, that much for, or had been waiting for for a long time. Get down! You're getting the squirt bottle. Get out! Go on! Gotta have one of these with a kitten. She's tearing up everything! I'm gonna kick your butt! Um... <laughs> Okay, so anyway, I don't know where I stopped, but I picked up The Last of Us, and it was it was 40 bucks, and it's at the same pawn shop where I saw the one for 25 and what I think is somebody didn't mark the other one the right price, and they marked it too cheap, according to them, because when I went in there the following week after... Um, we had talked about it being $25 and that it really wasn't a manual, it's digital and you install it onto the hard drive, uh, that um, they had two copies and both copies were $39.99. Well, this time I went in there, they only had one, but it does have the little, like, um, that code, which is probably used, and it's got the Naughty Dog stickers in it, and I figured that's probably about as good as it gets right there, and it was $39.99, I started playing this, I forwent playing anything else, and uh, it's it's right up my alley, I mean, it's really awesome, I mean, I'm not, I really can't say much, I finished the prologue, and have started playing into the game a little bit, but not much, are you going to stay off the curtain? you better so anyway um, I got up to go on uh, you're knocking stuff off <sighs> oh kitty uh, <laughs> sorry folks um, so I started playing got through the prologue and I started playing the prologue's pretty intense and then I uh, started playing the game made it as far as meeting up with the the little girl that you you're supposed to smuggle out of the city and uh, that's kind of where I am. The other secondary character uh, Tess has shown up. Uh, she went and checked out uh, something and has met back up with us and we're getting ready to proceed from there. I think that's vague enough that it doesn't give anything away for those who haven't played it. Um, So it was thirty nine ninety nine. Then I grabbed a couple other games and I went up to the counter, and uh, the girl's like, "You know, can I help you?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I want to buy these." She's like, "All right, I'm gonna go over and get them." And I, so I go over and I, I, she goes over to get them. Uh, you've got me all flustered now. Um, she goes over to get the games, comes back, starts ringing them up, and she's like, she rings up the first one. It was two ninety nine. She rings up the second one, and it was a a dollar ninety nine. Both of them are Xbox three hundred and sixty games, and I'll show you here in a second what they are. But then she comes to the Last of Us game, and she's like thirty nine ninety nine. She goes, "Is that right?" She's like asking me, and I'm like, "I, I don't know." She goes, "That seems really high," and I'm like, "I," and I just kind of stood there and was like, "I, I don't know," you know, and. Uh, she, and then she yelled over to the manager or whatever and was like, is that right, thirty nine ninety nine? And I'm And she's like, she kind of gave her the shrug, you know, and she goes, so so she goes, well, she goes, I'm going to look it up. And so if there's ever any doubt that these pawn shops and these, um, you know, thrift stores and shit don't use the computer to price match their shit online, uh, this proves it because she sat there right in front of me and looked up the game 
uh, on the internet and goes, well, it's still $60. She goes, so yeah. She goes, I guess it still just sounds really high. And I was like, I was like, I don't know. So she she goes ahead and she goes, I go, well, it's cheaper than I can get it anywhere else, is what I said, which is true, because it's still going for like 50 at vintage stock, and online it's still going for around 50, uh, um, even used, and uh, it was thirty nine ninety nine. So I was like, you know, it's cheaper than I can get it anywhere else. She's like, all right, so she she scanned it, and then she did some like typing on the keyboard, and she goes, <laughs> she goes, I went ahead and gave you a dollar off each of those other two games because that one's just too. She goes, that one's just too high. I, I go, you. I didn't say it, but I'm like, you sound high. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, so I picked up these other two games, one for a buck and one for two dollars, and they're both for the 360. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't know if these are like stellar buys. Uh, I did stick the one I got in for a buck, and I, I played it for a minute and thought it was all right, so... Um, I think I'll pl be able to uh, play it or enjoy it. I mean, it's not horrible. Um, but anyway, the uh, that one that I got for a dollar is the uh, game Golden Axe Beast Rider. And it's complete. Uh, it's not in the case right this second because I did stick it in the 360. Um, but it was it was $1.99 and she gave it to me for 99 cents. So, um, like I said, I stuck this in. It looked like you were playing this female warrior, and you had a sword and some abilities, uh, and it kind of played kind of like a Devil May Cry or something where I had to clear an area to kind of go to the next area. And You know, I'm, I'm cool with those type of games. That's kind of um, where I live nowadays because they're easy to get into and play. Now, this one, I don't have a clue if it's worth <laughs> worth even two dollars or not but I was like for three dollars I was like actually for five dollars on both of these games I can afford to take a gamble for five bucks and see if these two games are any good I remember when I was a kid you took a gamble because there wasn't even a freaking internet and there's barely any magazines aside from like Nintendo Power and shit and you were just like oh, I guess I'll go buy this game for like forty or fifty dollars and hope it's good uh, so for five dollars to buy two games on a this gen platform I was like um, <coughs> I don't think I could go wrong but I picked up this game uh, if you guys have played it or it sucks or it's it's okay let me know um, I haven't stuck it in yet but it's called uh, vampire rain um, I don't know it looked kind of interesting on the back and for uh, three dollars. I think it's funny because they have this sticker from GameStop on it that says it's two dollars and uh, then they're charging three. Uh, but she marked it down a dollar so it was only two. Um, so I picked up both of those and I was like well that's cool. So I got those two games for three dollars total and then I've got that other one. So I, I think I spent forty six or something well wait a second because I bought these two movies um, I got these two movies these were a dollar a piece but that's still around 46 um, I had been um, off and on looking for this when I hadn't really uh, been looking f for it recently but I remember looking for it at some point and couldn't find it and I saw it there uh, for a buck because all, all their DVDs now are a dollar because Blu-rays are um, kind of slowly creeping over the DVD market so um, the uh, Blu-rays are marked like five bucks or sometimes if they've got quite a few of a title they'll mark it down a little bit uh, but this was a buck and I bought uh, the Adams Family uh, on uh, this, I forget when this movie came out but it's got Raul Julia and Christina Ricci and uh, um I'm trying to remember who else. Um, Christopher, uh, whatever his name is. Uh, what is his name? How can I draw a blank on him? Christopher Lloyd <laughs> as Uncle Fester. And um, 
I think it's funny when you see people that were like child actors like Christina Ricci there. She's probably like 10 or 11 maybe in this movie. And, you know, she's in her 20s now. So I just think it's kind of funny to see the the progression of people over the years. Uh, kind of like uh, What's-Her-Face, uh, the chick that played uh, um, Mary Jane in the Spider-Man movies. Um I remember seeing her first in uh, the interview with the vampire, and she looked like she was about seven or eight years old. And um, then I, uh, Jumanji, uh, there's a few other movies that I remember seeing her in up through and until uh, she became Mary Jane. It's kind of like Dakota Fanning. I mean, I remember seeing her in like Re uh, War of the Worlds and a couple other movies, and then I saw a picture of her recently, and she's like 18 or 19 years old, and I was like, Dang, I haven't seen you in a while because you should have grown up. You know, it was just like kind of crazy to see these people when you th remember them as little kids and then you see them, you know, grown up. It's just strange. I guess it's not strange, it's the way of life. Uh, but I picked that up and then we'll do this quick. I picked up <laughs> Zombie Diaries 2. Uh, I had Zombie Diaries 1 and this was a buck. And I was like, even if it sucks, it was only a buck. So, what the fuck? So I picked that up. Uh, that finishes out this video. <laughs> Those were my pickups. Uh, the reason why uh, this video sucks is because of the cat. And uh, I also want to go play The Last of Us, so I'm trying to get through the video. So I can go play it for a while uh, before I got to crash out for the night. So anyway, I'm going to take off. Uh, glad you came by. Happy Thanksgiving to all my American friends. Uh, anybody else, happy Thursday, happy weekend. Um, and uh, I'll see you Monday. Uh, I'll see you Monday. I don't know if I have a video Monday, but I might. And... Um, Hopefully, uh, like I said, if you've played any of these games, The Vampire Reign, Golden Axe, Beastmaster, or The Last of Us, and you want to talk in the comments uh, to me about them, uh, just your overall opinion, no spoilers, please, but um, just uh, let me know. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. Thanks for coming by, and see you folks later. Gentlemen, ladies, welcome back to Sandum Todd.